Titans have already moved on to the 2017 season. So specifically looking at the NFC West, who are your picks to really make a difference in this upcoming year? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to start with the Los Angeles Rams, Britain, Sean McVay, the new head coach. I think the first thing he has to look at if he's addressing his team is the offensive line. You got a great running back in Todd Gurley, but at times last year he looked so discouraged receiving the handoff because he knew there was going to be penetration in the backfield. So you can't get your quarterback, Jared Goff, going if your running back and your running game isn't successful. The offensive line was one of the worst in the business last year, and so that's where he has to address. And also being a young head coach, a young head coach where players are looking at you like, is this kid our coach? Went in the locker room, setting a tone, letting them know you mean business, that you can be a disciplinarian when you have to be, but you're still a player's coach like I hear he is. So Sean McVay's got a big job ahead of him. Realistically, how long will it take for players to realize he's not a 31-year-old and that head coach? The very first example, Britt, when somebody comes in late or somebody's slacking in practice and somebody's not going to their mandatory treatment sessions, what's he going to do about it? Are you going to lay the hammer down and either fine him or set the tone to the entire team that this stuff's important or are you just going to let it slide players will be watching him from the very first mistake all right who are you watching Damian I'm watching the San Francisco 49ers in, in a new regime of John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan listen Colin Kaepernick can opt out of his contract and if he does that means they will they will not have a quarterback on their roster so if you're at a San Francisco 49ers right now there's a reason why you, you need one of those yeah. you, need, you definitely <laughs> need one of those but there's a reason why they signed both the GM and the head coach um, to a six-year deal to both to six-year deals because this is a long rehab so if you're the 49 49ers, you have to decide what what route do you want to take. Do you want to go with the court, you know, try to get your quarterback and, and then try to build from there or build the roster and then try to add your quarterback along the way? Because if you get your quarterback and we you, and we've seen it time and time again throughout the league, you start losing, you lose that guy. Yeah, one mistake it, it, at that one, position. One mistake, the GM, and then that, yeah. next thing you know, you're hitting the reset button again trying to find the quarterback. So which strategy are they going to take in San Francisco to try to re really rebuild this thing the right way? I'm with you with the 49ers and Kyle Shanahan. Look at the quarterbacks he's improved. Matt Ryan with his back.